Hello, I'm going to play side two of my Batman record. Sussex campus of Oxford University in England where the Batman is addressing a group of British criminologists. We joined the lecture already in progress. Along with a sound education and basic chemical analysis. One never knows when a clue in the form of a soil sample or a cloth stain is staring the unwary detective in the face. I'm most impressed in the growth I've seen in this area, this side of the Atlantic. I am therefore most honored to be here. There's a call for you, Batman. It came during your talk from a gentleman at Scotland Yard. Make my excuses, Mr. Pico. This sounds important. Ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished guest from the United States will take no questions this afternoon. He has just been called upon to... This is the Batman speaking. Oh, my, yes, Batman. I say, this is Inspector Oswald of Scotland Yard. We seem to have happened upon a rather grisly incident, and I thought, since you were in such proximity... You have my help. The story, please, Inspector. Uh, yes, quite. Well, it seems that several villagers in Cadbury reported a shining object fell into the moors five days ago. And we assumed it was a shooting star or some such, but we sent an investigator there anyhow. Uh, Higgins was the chap's name. And he found? Uh, Higgins? Well, we don't know what he found. We found Higgins. Dead, actually. Propped on a wooden stand and dressed like a scarecrow. A routine case it was. Nothing routine about murder, Inspector. It's quite. Anyhow, we dispatched another investigator there this morning. If you could join him. Thanks, Inspector, but I work alone. I'll get over there myself. Hello. The blighter seems to have disengaged the line. Hello. I'm oh, certainly not going to be there for a long time. Oh, I and I don't even think you're going for longer. Who be you, stranger? You're dressed as you're looking for work about the fields. But Cadbury's is sure in the way the wrong village for you to be looking in these times. I'm not looking for work, uh, but I may be looking to join you in a game of darts. You won't be wanting to put any money on the game, would you, mate? Good crowd, eh? Not a body of these parts can beat me on the board. Have a brew on me. I don't drink or take chances. Uh, tell me, mate, uh, have you been out in the moors lately? The moors? Took space there for sure. That's what folks round here all say. You scored 200 on that round, Billy boy. Thanks for the company. I think I'll take a walk. Oh, friend, are you gonna throw your dots? The dots? Oh, yes, just a... oh, one at a time, mate. Don't throw them all. I'm in mean, kind of a rush. Six bullseyes in one row. I've never seen such a shot like that in all the day. Where you was that man? And where, where the deuce did he go? The disguised Batman has slipped outside the pub, where he is startled by a rich, dark voice. The eminent Batman, I presume. Who? Oh, how on earth did you sneak up behind? Well, at least do me the courtesy of allowing me to remove my disguise before you recognize me. A thousand me. pardons, good Batman. Of course, you realize that to a trained eye, the coordination of a superbly trained athlete is evident no matter how you disguise your walk. And your skin tone is much too deep for a native of overcast England this time of year. Obviously. And you, of course, are... Inspector Derek Holmes at your service. Derek Holmes? Not a relation of the legendary detective Sherlock Holmes, are you? That would be too much for old poor dear Batman. But don't think I avoid a good deal of ribbing for my name. Here's a secluded spot for you to remove your disguise, if you like. The masked manhunter and his new companion fade into the mists of the swamp as night signals its coming. Inspector Holmes, I have a case to solve, so... Nonsense, Batman. We've been thrown together with regard to this matter. We would obviously profit by working as a team. Holmes, look out! That wagon! Where's it crash? What did you not see? Effective. Most effective. We caught them against impenetrable undergrowth. 
They could in no way have escaped contact with the wagon. We should leave before they are discovered. Hmm, that was a close one. Our presence seems to have made someone nervous. Did you get a good look at them, Holmes? Decidedly, Batman. Their accents betray their point of national origin, among other things. But whatever was that delightful capsule that saved us both? Uh, this one? It's an airbag. The type used as an instant cushion in crashing planes and cars inflates on impact. Hmm, perhaps I should get a utility belt of my own. I assume you noticed the boots on our two friends. Yes, a certain kind of shale on their shoes with a texture I don't see on the ground around here. It's a green clay, actually, called lime rock. The nearest point it can be found is in the area where the unidentified object was sighted. Interesting. Shall we be off? Night on the moors in a fog-shrouded glen provides adequate cover for two men combing the swamps for a valuable piece of equipment. If you rake through this mud and mud one foot at a time, it may as well be a continent. Yeah, patience. As long as the villagers fear to come here, we are the only ones likely to find... What was that? Something metallic? Yes. Help me unearth this. Another rock. Yes, it's the payload from our crashed satellite. We have found it! Eureka! Hold! Quiet! Where is that coming? Only me. I found this one snooping in the area. The British inspector. The one we thought we eliminated. No matter, for we shall soon be back in the motherland with our prize. Where is your friend, dog? The one with the costume. Dead, poor devil. He sheltered me from the crash. I see you have succeeded in your scheme. Scheme? How could you know of any scheme? Elementary, my dear abductors. The UFO reports of a week ago were the result of one of your country's satellites malfunctioning and crashing into this bog. A surveillance satellite, no doubt, with aerial photographs of the military installations of the North Atlantic countries. When poor Inspector Higgins stumbled across you several days ago, you constructed that bizarre scarecrow murder to horrify the townspeople and discourage any further interference while you sought out your lost equipment. Observant, my friends. But have you also determined there is a glimmer of a chance you might avoid being propped up in a scarecrow outfit yourself? If you would permit me a moment to light my pipe, it might become clearer to you. Look, when he lit his match, I saw it. The shadow. What is wrong with you? What did you see? The scarecrow. The policeman we put into scarecrow clothes. He's come back. Where? A gunshot in its direction will quiet you. Quite bad manners, my good man. Aiming a gun at a guest. Oh, where do you kick my gun? I'll get you for it. You'll get no one ever again. The scarecrow! Ah! Not quite a scarecrow, sorry. But it's fear you crave. And someday think back to this war when you took the life of a law officer or some petty national interest you thought more important than a life. And you'll remember a Batman striking with a vengeance into the souls of petty criminals and international outlaws alike. That's when you'll know that today you looked into the face of fear. The darkness falls away to morning as a lone masked manhunter, the world's greatest detective, delivers three agents of a foreign power to Scotland Yard. Remarkable showing you made, Batman. You deserve your reputation. I'm only sorry you had to go it alone on that moor. You mean bringing them in? I wondered where Holmes disappeared to, but I assumed he could take care of himself after the hard work was over. Holmes? I don't know whatever you could be talking about, old chap. My investigator had a car accident on the way to Cadbury. Nothing serious. The hospital should release him any day. And now, what about this Holmes fellow who disappeared? Holmes? Inspector Derek Holmes. Uh, don't play games, Oswald. Frankly, I didn't believe that was his name, but... Oh, you daft man. I tell you, I sent no one. Oh, uh, I get it. It's this odd American sense of humor I've never quite understood. Sense of humor? Yes, Holmes indeed. World's greatest detective and all. I suppose if I were the ghost of Sherlock Holmes, I would want to crack at working with my only living equal. Ghost of Sherlock Holmes? Oh, you Americans. Quite a sense of humor. You must be getting on. Cheerio, old chap. Mm -hmm.